Welcome to this how to free agent tutorial. Today I'm going to explain how to add an out of pocket expense that you've paid for personally. So we are again in Sarah's Marketing Magic, our dummy account. Um, if you haven't already looked at the overview video about the different kinds of expenses that you can have on free agent, if you would uh, like to read that, uh, sorry, watch that first, it may make a little bit more sense as to what we're doing now, but this is, um, covering how to uh, raise an out-of-pocket expense and then pay yourself back the money. Um, as we said in the overview, I try not to repeat too much of it. Um, this is basically if you've paid for something out of your own money, that can be cash out of your pocket or it can be on your credit card or your personal bank account. It's anything that hasn't been paid for out of the business bank account or the business credit card. Um, it doesn't mean you can't claim for stuff if you haven't paid for it. We get that question quite a lot. If the if the business hasn't paid for it, you can pay for it. And as long as you log it in this way, uh, you can still get the tax relief and, and the, the business can pay you the money back. So uh, what we're going to do first uh, is that we're going to log this expense. Now, if you're not sure where to find it, uh, this is to do with Sarah's money. So it's under my money and then expenses. And then at the top, it says out of pocket expenses. So what free agent are trying to do is to get you think that you're putting your hand in your pocket and you're paying for these things. It's just trying to get you to understand uh, the difference between this and something that you might have paid for out of the business account. Um, if you've paid for it out of the business account, don't do this. Go and look at the other video. <laughs> um, and if it's a regular supplier that sends you a bill every month and you pay it um, 30 days later, look at another video you don't want to do that that using this method so what we're going to do is we're going to go and have a look for sarah there she is and we're going to see uh, that she's already put through three expenses uh, during november she parked in pool for a client meeting um, she did some mileage in her own personal car for the business for the, the business um, and she luckily she took the client out to lunch after the meeting so she's put all of these on already the only other expense that she has is uh, for the 10th of November where she bought some envelopes so we're just going to put that on now so up in the nice big green button we're going to do add new expense uh, we're going to make sure it, it, we've just been looking at Sarah so it should say Sarah but make sure we have the right person anyone uh, that works for the company for her business can can do an expense claim uh, so we're going to do it Sarah it's a payment uh, you can have a refund but in this case we've paid out money and it's for stationery so we're just going to go and look and pick out stationery as I've said the receipt shows the 10th so we always go with the date that's on the receipt and she has paid £9.99 um, it's at W. Smith's so it has got that included and I would always suggest that you put the, the place you got something from and what you bought so we're going to put uh, WH Smiths and she bought a very big box of envelopes or well, not that big it might just be that they're very expensive in Smiths um, if she has scanned in the receipt um, into the computer she can at this point go and find it um, and attach it to the software so at all times it's all it's all filed nicely together if you don't attach receipts to the software you can just file them away in in your box of receipts and know that this has been updated on free agent uh, that's all filled in the receipts attached and we just do create new expense and it adds it to the system um, and in this instance you can see a little paper clip to show that this one has a receipt attached to it if for any reason you think you might have made a mistake, if you just double click on it, you can go back in and change anything that you want to. That happens on, on most of uh, the parts of FreeAgent. Um, and obviously you can see that you, the receipt that you've attached, you can download it or you can make it bigger if you want to have a quick look at it. I uh, realize that's not the right receipt. That's just one that we used for this example. Uh, if we want to then change, save changes, um, the other wonderful thing about this is it keeps an ongoing balance of how much you're owed by the business. So in, in Sarah's case, she's decided that at the end of every month, she will pay back everyone's expenses. So when we get to the end of November, um, she realizes that she's owed uh, £42 and two pence. Now we're going to show you how to um, allocate that payment. So on the bank, if we imagine that at the end of the month, we've gone through a couple of weeks um, and she's now paid herself that money. If we go into banking and bank accounts 
um, and we go into the business current account and she's uh, told us that she's paid it on the 30th of November so if we go into uh, the November transactions and look at all the transactions and we scroll down we can see there it is uh, Sarah Smith expenses that's just what she's called it on the bank when she made the payment so all that we do is click on the expense payment uh, it is a payment, but it's actually a payment to a person and she's a user. So the way you need to remember this is that everyone that uses free agent is a user. So this is money paid to user. Uh, from the list, we're going to say it was paid to Sarah. Um, it's not drawings in this case. You have drawings, expense or salary. This is an expense payment. And we would always make sure that the description says who you paid and what it was for. So Sarah Smith expenses is fine. And we explain the transaction. That's now gone green. We don't need to attach anything to the bank because all the receipts are already attached to the expenses. So we just explain it that way. And now if we go back into uh, my money and expenses and we have a look at Sarah's account, you can see there's the payment that we've just uh, allocated and the balance owed is zero. So every month, if she does the same thing for all of her employees or if you're a sole trader or, or a loan director you just do it for yourself you can make sure that you are paid back all the money that you're owed that you can claim tax back on all of these little things that you've bought and and over a year especially with mileage it can add up to an awful lot of money so it's a very good thing to, to make sure you record correctly if this has been helpful please like it below and subscribe to our channels to see more of our videos and if you need a free agent friendly accountant that's easy to talk to please get in touch. Thanks for watching.